Hey guys, it's Nurse Gwenny. Let's talk about central venous catheters, or we just call it a central line or a CVC for short. So this particular central line is a triple lumen catheter. Triple meaning it has three lumens, meaning it's kind of has straws inside of it. As a matter of fact, if you were to chop it, take a cross section and look at it, the packaging shows you what it would look like. Those triple lumens, two of them are 18 gauge and one of them is 16 gauge. And they're capable of up to 60 mils per minute per each lumen. So you can get a lot of medication or fluid bolus. Now, it doesn't all mix together and come out the same lumen. As I rotate it, see you can see right there, that's the medial lumen. There is the proximal lumen and the distal lumen is here on the end and it comes through. And it's very soft on that tip. And that's because of the insertion procedure. So the most common insertion site is the IJ, specifically the right IJ, which stands for internal jugular. You can also put it through the subclavian vein or through the femoral, but the femoral is gross and lots of yucky things happen down there. Germs that we don't want to get into this insertion site because we don't want these patients to develop a clabsy or a now, it matters where this distal tip is, this end tip, that soft blue tip right there. So we like for that to sit in the superior vena cava. That's the largest vein in our whole body that dumps right into the right atrium. This can also go slightly down into the right atrium. Then we can measure that right atrial pressure by hooking up this brown port to the transducer. Now, when I'm assisting on this procedure, when a physician is doing this, I'm not watching the physician and patient. No sorry, Bob, I am watching the monitor because I want to know if the physician has inserted this a little bit too far and I don't want it to be in the right ventricle. Why is that? Yeah, the right ventricle is a picky, finicky little thing and it doesn't like to be messed with. And so if this tip drops into that right ventricle, I will see my patient start throwing PVCs or go into bigeminy or even sustained ventricular tachycardia, VTAC. We don't want that to happen. And when that happens here, I always know, mm, back it up a little bit, back it up, Terry. And we got to pull out until we are in the right atrium, not in the right ventricle. And then we suture it into place. See, it's got these two little wings here that we can uh, sew the sutures through to keep it in place because we don't want that getting yoinked back. Place a sterile dressing over it and then we are good to go to use all three of these ports. We can even pull blood off if we're doing frequent blood draws for our patients so we don't have to keep doing venipuncture and then they look like a vampire attacked them on the hourly. So I hope that helps you understand central venous catheters. What would you add for new grads who are learning about these?